This is another note related to GPS time. How to convert from GPS time to normal date time or UTC time <coughs> and how to convert back. So from the previous note we know that we can check the GPS calendar using the uh, NOAA website, National Geodetic Survey website about the GPS calendar there so we can base on the normal date time and then we can look for the GPS week and the day of the week but together with that we also can use a uh, Python model which is called GNSS Cal and we can convert from normal date time such as this date time to year of uh, day of the year or union day and year here or we can convert to GPS week and day of the week but one of another thing that uh, I want to note which is based on the report from a post pack processing so if we read a post pack processing report for example here we go to post pack software we go to report and we can see here if we look at any report we're going to see that uh, in the x axis which is a uh, number and this is not this representing time in second but it's not date time this is actually second from the beginning of that GPS week so how can we convert this from how we can convert uh, between normal date time and GPS second from the start of uh, GPS week like this. So there is a website online which is really helpful. For example, here we have the GPS week. Is here if we go to this side, just look for the day. For example, 2020, May of um, 14 of May we will have the GPS week which is 2105 so if we copy this to here as GPS week 2105 and we uh, put in the time inside here and we say convert to UTC um, so when we do that we can see that it will tell us this is the day is 11 the day is 11 and the equivalent time for that which is the second if we use the uh, day of the year the GPS second of the day GPS week mode so if we use the GPS second of week we can have this which is the day 11 11 is equivalent to Monday Monday so if we want to get the second equivalent to first day of that week which is 14 we're going to go to here go to 14 and we convert to GPS time so if we do that way you can see that the this is normal day which is 14 of May 2020 the hour is 20 57 24 seconds then we can have the GPS week is this and the GPS week uh, mode uh, I don't know with what is this I don't know what is this but I I'm interested in this and it can convert to the time of day of the year for us as well and it also can convert for the GPS second of the day and also the GPS second of the week so the value that we see in a post pack report here which is GPS second of the week so we can see here if 
equivalent to one so if we want to okay this time is 170,000 seconds from the beginning of the week but we don't know which day is this we can type in here 17000 and we can convert back so we can convert back and we can see that oh that is the 10th of May and the 10th of May is actually Sunday which is Sunday okay so which is the uh, first day of the week so that is a way that we can use this website again this website called labsat.co.uk uh, index.php en gps time calculator but actually we can also use python to convert back and forward from gps time and utc time so i spent some time searching online and i found some function and somebody uh, uh, had written some functions so we can use this so here is one of the one of the function this is uh, convert gps week second to normal time i got it from radius i think so so for example here we need to use decimal so this is a function i'm not gonna say in detail about the function because i'm not the person to write this function but we can see that we have uh, the function name is tom convert 24 and the input is gps week second so when we use this function for example we run this function for example we run this function and then we run this with this for example we type in here the 171 so we can see that this time is equivalent to um, the time of the day is 20, uh, 23 30 minutes 0 second but we don't know which day it is so if we use this function we don't know which day it is so then if we need to know we need to have another function and another function, another function is called uh, week second to UTC so this function is uh, have more information the input for this function is gps week gps second and uh, the leap second so what is leap second so the leap second which is a function that i can find so okay so now what i need to find what is the leap function so the reference for this i also put in here as well which is the function to take gps week second to return to that one and then somebody has a very good question in here which is uh wait i have a question how do i get the leap second and then somebody answer a great question which is uh i get every second in leap that from the website so we can find it it's fine from the website so the website leap second is in this website if necessary you can put it here so that means for it because this year is uh somehow it's not years in it okay so this is a year so if the survey is in uh, i have no idea so value of tai utc in second valid between the initial value until the report given on the next line the last line read that number leap second was introduced in the corresponding date updated to the uh, IERS written 62 issue on in July 2020 so this is the latest version and this one will be expired in 28 June 2022 so we can say that after 2017 the leap is 37 and here the value of the leap here we put in this function is 16 16 that means it was in 19 in 1977 so if we need to do something for this one which is here in 2019 the leap is going to be 37 so something like this 37 okay that's the way that we can uh, because the gps week is actually started in uh, I don't know, but uh, the, li the, the leap value set in second recorded here is from 1972 to 2000 and 
17. So what is the lead value? So basically the lead value is the value uh, to adjust the latency, I think, of the earth rotation because the earth rotation uh, is, um, is not consistent. So it's changing every time. So <coughs> it's changed probably one, um, several, a um, couple of years um, for one second. So here we can see that from uh, 1972 to 2017, it's from 10 to 37. I'm, I don't understand deeply about it, but I just want to know where it's value. So we know this is value that we can get value. So I, I know it there. And then I run this, and then I get the value. So if I put in the GPS week, for example, in this case, the GPS week is 2105. I want to test this. And the, the GPS second of the week, which is that we leave this value. And the leap, the leap second needs to be um, 37. Let's say that. <coughs> okay. And then we convert to UTC. So if we convert to UTC, we can have this value. But the problem that in leap second in this website, it doesn't allow us to put in 29. Maybe the value here is outdated. So let's say 29. And then we calculate it. So we have 20, 20, May 10, which is actually 20, 20, May 10 here. And also we have uh, 4 hour 42 minute 51 second, 4 hour 42 minute 51 second. Uh, we don't know which day it is this, but because I use this uh, special time format, so I can have the, this is Sunday as well. So I actually use this time format. We give me the we gives me the year, month, day, hour, minute, second, and also the day of the uh, the name of the day, the day of the week. So that is the way that I can use Python, which is this function, to convert and then. And actually, this function actually doesn't need any uh, special model. It doesn't need the GPS, the GNSS calculation model. It does need the uh, date time, and date time is already installed in Python. So we don't need to install any new package or model to use this function. So what it does in this function is import date time, get the date time format, get the epochs, mm. somehow the date time delta is a day, second, and then a minus the leap second, and then we return the day epoch, the uh, elap, and the uh, date time format. So just, I don't really understand how the function is work. We just have the function to, to, to calculate it. So again, if we want to convert back to uh, from uh, from the GPS time to to uh, if we want to convert from normal time to GPS which second, how can we do that? So um, we know that. Uh, we have a function inside so we have normal time so we know that we have a function that can convert the GPS week for us uh, the GPS week and day of the week so for example we have the uh, day is uh, 2019 April 30 Tuesday then we can convert to G of the day, which is uh, Julian day is 120. And we can convert to GPS week, which is uh, 2051. And it is the third day of the week. So that the more important we, we have. But if we want to convert the, uh, if we have the second,
Here we have the um, so for example this function I mean if I want to convert back to to GPS how can I do that? So I have a um, function here which is called local to GPS so the input is going to be time string time format and uh, leap second and local offset so the input is time string so for example the time string here we 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 want to choose the value of this one which is just um, this like this we use the same format and we put in the day so this is the input time string this is the time format uh, which is here monday hour minus second uh, the time leap second we just put in the zero but I, we, we can put in the 29 similar to the value that we we are testing here yeah so let's say 2019 uh, April and 30 and the time is 00 oh no yeah let make it uh, a bit random the time need to be 04 and here it's 42 and 51 yeah so we can convert here so if we do that we should have the gps week is this and gps second of the week is like that okay so we want to get the gps second of the week and gps week how can we do that so we can print out here the gps week and gps second of the week so let's run this uh, let's run this first and then we run the function here and then we test that so we're gonna have the second of the week which is uh, 2051 this is the um, and this is the um, probably we need to round it up because uh, the GPS week is always a rounded value so maybe we can round it I'm not sure why maybe this function is not perfect so we can do this we can have GPS week like this and uh, the GPS second is like this one uh, which is 189742 which is 189800 it's wrong it's not correct so I can see here the, the function this function in Python is not working well so the function that convert from so so again this is just a note for me to remember what I know it's not the, um, the final solution for everything so if I want to develop further or I want to uh, work more in deep I can come back to here and um, check and test this function in more detail and uh, that's it I think for this note on how to use the website labco UK to convert between UTC date your GPS time and other information and also you are some uh, GPS function to convert uh, from GPS second to GPS time uh, back and forward I think the I can do the function this function can work very well then I can do the reverse function but um, yeah I can do it later it doesn't matter and uh, this is very important for me to especially when I read this I don't know this start which is here so I can say the start here is 167000 and I can say this GPS week is I, I have a report for it and the report say the GPS week which is um, 
actually here two one two five TPS weak mode I don't know what this value is to be honest then I convert to uh can convert to the GDE so I can say here that the start okay we can have the start value here and it can mark for me so the start value is equivalent to 29 no no that's not the value oh this is one okay so which is 29 of April that correct 2019 this is PM which is 20 23 and 30 because the leap is uh, so just the leap value with charts zero so the leap value in this case is just zero so just uh, the user is a zero leap value and the and the Julian uh, day of the year is 120 so and it did come so it helped me to understand the plot and the GPS time and that is helpful in terms of understanding the post result.